Dinsmore. Four months away. We have four months until you and I step into that HPW arena in Columbus, Indiana and do battle. I am going to put everything I have into this match. Everything I do for the next four months, it's something I'm going to do in preparation of taking you out, of ending you, of taking your hair and humiliating you. Columbus, Indiana might be asking why. Why would Sun Guy have this much animosity? Well, see, it stems from a training seminar. Eugene Dinsmore came to the Pacific Northwest to teach a seminar. And when he got in the ring with Sign Guy, and we were having a scientific friendly match, a training match, the wrestlers in the Pacific Northwest, they chanted Sign Guy, Sign Guy, Sign Guy. They weren't chanting for you, Eugene, were they? And that ate at you. That made you angry. You tried to take me out. You got a little rough in there, didn't you? But Sun Guy got up. He lived to fight another day. He has gone on to wrestle many times since. He's gone on to MMA. He's in magazines, on newsletters. He's all over the map, Eugene. You didn't stop me. And after that seminar, I graciously invited you on the show I put on the map. The show that has taken over the professional wrestling world, Turnbuckle Turmoil. I invited you on as a guest out of respect. And what did you do? You tried to humiliate me. You challenged me to what anything goes. No DQ. Coal miner glove on a pole. Hair versus hair match. You attempted to humiliate me, thinking I would not accept it. I accepted it! Didn't I, Eugene? And then you thought, well, the promotion's not going to take that match. It's not going to sign it. And then, days later, in front of over 400 people, that match was made official by Jerry Wilson. It's in ink. It is done. It is official. We are going to wrestle that night. And then Jerry Wilson comes up with the brilliant idea. I'm sure you were behind it, Eugene. He's going to fly out devastatingly handsome Dash Venture and the lovely Lila Lodge from the West Coast. He's going to have them watch you defeat me and shave my head and then tell everyone in the Pacific Northwest about it. He's going to get a big laugh as the word gets out to the boys out here. Well, that's not going to happen. What the devastatingly handsome one and the lovely Lila will actually see is not my humiliation, it will be yours. Because I plan to shave your head after I beat you. I don't care if it's by submission or by pinfall. I will defeat you, Eugene. I want you to think of all your fans that are going to buy tickets. Think of Beverly and her grandkids. Think of Melissa. Think of Leslie. Think of Kevin Burton. Think of everybody there. Think of Shelby Benzie, Donnie Idol's number one fan. I want you to take your autographs and your action figures and your dolls and sign them. I want you to sign all the autograph pictures. Something like this, Eugene. If you remember this. Sign guy. To my friend, Eugene. Well, I want everyone in that arena to have one of these, Eugene. Make it out to whoever is in there. Even Delilah Lodge and Dash Venture and Stompin' Steve. Jerry Wilson himself should have a picture made out to them because it's going to represent their very heart, their bond with you. And what am I going to do with that picture that represents the heart of HPW fans, of HPW performers, of everyone that is out to watch my destruction, I'm going to rip those hearts right in half, Eugene. And then Jerry Wilson. For years, it has gone on between you and I. You have spilled my blood. I have spilled your blood. I have beaten you. You have beaten me. What stops on November 5th? 
Because when I am finished with Eugene Dinsmore, when I have ripped the hearts right out of every fan that you've ever had, I'm going to shut down the company that you have spent a lifetime building because you have built it on my back, on my reputation. I am HPW. I was there from day one. I have gotten you more publicity. I have drawn you more fans than anyone that has ever stepped foot in the HPW arena, an arena I named. And you know that to be true. So when I have defeated Eugene, when I have deflated the hearts and the dreams of all those fans, Jerry Wilson, you and I will finish things. It will be over between us and fans. I will come down and I will burn down the trailer parks and HPW will be nothing but a footnote in wrestling history. I will see you November 5th.